Nobody is born evil, just like no one's born a mass murderer. I was curious if you had any thoughts about what was said at the Parkland school shooting um, sentencing, um, because there was criticism of showing any kind of compassion towards Nicholas Cruz. Another person the defense brought up many times to get the jury to vote for life in prison is Scarlett Lewis, the mother of Sandy Hook victim Jesse Lewis. The defense mentioned several people who supposedly love him, one that wanted to make money off of him through producing a movie about his life, and the other wanted to make money by selling her social emotional learning product. During the trial, we learned that Scarlett Lewis calls the murderer and tells him that she loves him. I hope she knows that after she hangs up that phone, he's laughing at her. He then goes and draws 666 on his cell wall with his hemorrhoid blood and draws pictures of guns and writes how he would like to kill more people and murder more people. Her naivete shows that she is a fool. She should know better after her son was murdered in Sandy Hook. I'm sure she's not watched the trial. But if she did, she would know that his mother loved him very much. He didn't have an abusive home life. There are children out there being tortured and raped and don't receive any love. But this was not the case. The Parkland murderer did have love in his life. He even had a girlfriend. But you can't fix evil. It is such a disservice to people that are struggling with mental illness to use that as a mitigator for what he did. I think I, think I can speak about that now. It's after the trial. And Max and I have also spoken about this and I have apologized to the families because I I know that that was very hurtful to them and that is not my intention at all although I did know that they were pursuing the death penalty and I wanted to ask Nicholas Cruz, how we failed him. And I know it's not a question that people want to hear, and it's not a question people want to ask. But I believe until we start realizing that in some way, <laughs> We are also responsible for what happens in our backyards and take positive action to address the root cause of the suffering that leads to these events. We are never going to get ahead of them. And I wanted to ask the question that I didn't think anyone else had the courage to ask and uh, it wasn't it wasn't my intention to hurt the families at all you know I love those families I, I, I understand the suffering and the pain that they're going through I was also a little bit further along in the journey and I am passionate I have dedicated my life to keeping kids safe and helping them with their health and well-being and 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 you know i started the choose love movement and this is what i do seven days a week almost 24 hours a day i think about it in my dreams it's so important and i nicholas cruz is not the first school shooter that i've spoken to and I really wanted an answer to that question. Um, and I wanted to ask him before something might have happened to him.